Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Ayana and today we're going to be doing another Christmas decor haul. So I think I pretty much have gotten everything that I am wanting this year. There may be some things that I see when I'm out shopping so I, I am liable to pick up a few more items. But I think for the most part I've gotten everything. I really wanted to really only get items that I know for sure that I'm going to use instead of buying items because I see them and then not using them. Just trying to be mindful before getting into the new decor i did want to let you guys know that i did return some items and those items are the brown velvet trees from hobby lobby i just kind of felt like i wasn't going to be using those and reaching for them and decorating and so i didn't want to keep those and then i also returned the mercury glass houses from target just because i kind of started to dislike them and i would have rather just taken them back and get something that i actually liked and would use but without further ado we're going to go ahead and get into this video be sure to like and subscribe thank you guys so much for all your support so i do have quite a few new pieces so this video is probably going to be a little bit longer so just make sure you grab a snack and grab your favorite drink and get a little cozy and let's just get into it so the first store i have items from is amazon so i'm just going to go ahead and show you guys those things I did pick up quite a bit ribbon this year just because I really wanted to add ribbon to my decorating and I haven't done so in the past. So why not do it this year, you know, just starting new and fresh with everything. So I got three thin ribbons, but this is the first ribbon. It's like this burgundy dark red. And as you all know, I'm really wanting to use um, pops of dark red this year. And so when I saw it on Amazon, I couldn't pass it up. I do think Hobby Lobby has like a thicker velvet, like burgundy ribbon in their regular fabric section that I do want to find because the last one I bought from Hobby was a little too bright, like more bright than what I was wanting to use this year. And then I also picked up like this cream off-white ribbon. I don't know if y'all can see that really well. I feel like my camera is making get pick up a little yellow, but it's not actually yellow. Okay, there's it's like a beautiful, almost like a taupe color. And once again, just adding ribbon here and there wherever I can. And then the last thin ribbon I picked up is this beautiful dark brown ribbon. And I just think this is so pretty. These bows with the thin ribbon will definitely be like the little dainty little cute bows, but I do have some thicker ribbon. And the first one is this dark brown ribbon. It is frayed on the edges and let me unroll it to show y'all. And so this is what it looks like. I feel like in starting lighting, it can kind of look almost like a plum color, but I do think it is beautiful and I can't wait to use it. And then this set I got, it did come with, oops, it did come with three rolls. Um, and so hopefully it's enough for what I am needing it for. So I did pick up some items from the Creative Co-op. I got two different items from them. And the first item I got is this marble like snowman pinch pot set. And this, this is just for your salt and pepper in your kitchen. I will say though, you don't, like technically have to use it in your kitchen. Like, if you wanted to use it like in your bathroom or something like that, it would also work out because I don't think anyone would ever know that these come apart. Mine unfortunately did arrive broke as y'all can see. So I am going to have to return it and hopefully find another one. But I think this is pretty heavy. I think it's well made and I just think this is cute. I also don't feel like this is something that you only have to specifically use for Christmas. I think it will work well for like just winter decorating too if you do keep up decor for winter and change out your decor after Christmas is over. And then also from the Creative Co-op, I did pick up this set of two Christmas tree candlesticks. And I thought I was getting the five pack, but I actually only ordered the two pack. So I probably will end up ordering two more. And these are in the color eggnog. They have multiple colors on their little website on Amazon in there you know <laughs> um and so i got the shorter candlesticks because i did purchase some pretty tall candlestick holders and i didn't want to have like the regular size candlesticks and then the tall candlestick holders and just create an unnecessary amount of height to where it doesn't flow with anything else i might pair it with and just look kind of awkward i also purchased six led candlesticks 
and these do come with a little remote so you don't have to go and turn them off one by one um, and then these are like that real candle wax feel I don't know if they're actual candle wax or if they're just like candle wax coated but I think these look pretty realistic um, I wanted to pick up LED candlesticks this year just because I do have two kiddos who are walking moving around and I don't want them to accidentally like bump into a table or anything like that cause a tin candle to tip over and then there's wax everywhere or it creates a fire hazard so I just thought it was smarter and safer to go with these LED candlesticks and then any real candlesticks I have like the Christmas tree ones I will probably only like those just for like videos or pictures and leave them unlit pretty much the rest of the time I also got these linen brown pillow covers and these were supposed to be 20 by 20 but I accidentally ordered 22 by 22 and so I wanted these for my couch but because it's 22 by 22 and I don't have those pillows I ordered 20 by 20 I will probably end up returning these just because I feel like 22 by 22 may be a little bit too big for my couch but I do love the color of these I like that they're linen so it's adding like a different type of texture to your decorating I will say that this brand does have quite a few colors like they have multiple brown shades and off-white some greens so I definitely will have these linked below for you I think those shades that they have are pretty neutral um, can go well for a year-round decor but also will be perfect for Christmas decorating next from Amazon I did pick up this set of three different size bells and I'm trying to hold them to where so as you can see there's like a large a medium and a small this set of bells was around 21 bucks I believe and I originally purchased these for my amber interiors bell stand dupes um, but then I started to play around with them and I tried out like all the same size bells and I like that too so I don't know yet which bells I'm gonna use I could create like my own garland or use these for console table styling just to have on top of some books or a little pedestal um, a riser so the options are pretty endless when it comes to this and bells are just a great way to add that Christmas spirit to your decorating if you are interested in bell garlands I would advise going out and trying to find some before purchasing these three bells just because three these three bells are like 21 bucks and I know Hobby Lobby has bells that are like eight bucks five bucks before the 50% off so you would save money by just going to Hobby Lobby if you're able to do so moving on to Hobby Lobby I did pick up three candlestick holders and they are pretty tall so I'm gonna try and hold these up for y'all so I got these and they're like the set of three even though they're not they don't come together you have to purchase them separately and I got these in this beautiful brass color and I have the black ones but I really wanted the brass ones I just feel like brass is a, such a nice like Christmas metal and so the small one was 20 the medium sized one was like 22 and then the large one was 25 before the 50% off so I think you know after you get that discount it's not bad for the set of three and I know they do also have the black ones for Christmas right now too and if I start to sound a little hoarse I am sorry I woke up this morning my throat's kind of like scratchy and not feeling great so I do apologize so I did pick up some stems from Hobby Lobby and the stems I picked up are these beautiful um, like cedar stems that have like the little berries at the end and these were $5.99 before the 50% off and I picked these up because I really wanted to add like stems and greenery to my decorating this year the years past I really did not have like any greenery whatsoever so I really wanted to just add more so I did get six of these stems and I do think these are like very pretty very beautiful and for the price um, it's not a bad deal I did also pick up some picks from Hobby Lobby and I got these beautiful like frozen berry picks I think these are just so incredibly beautiful and just depending on how the light hits them they have like that maroon shade you know like the burgundy the bright red just depending on you know like how the light hits them and I am picturing these in a black vase either alone or with some greenery added in and I just think it's gonna look so beautiful these stems are just I have I love these stems so much and these were $1.99 before the 50% off 
I also picked up ornaments from the Robert Stanley collection. I got two different kinds of ornaments. But the first one is this beautiful like hammered metal looking ornament and it does have like that antique vintage looking ornament cap and this was $8.99 before the 50% off. I just think with how I'm planning to decorate this year adding some of like this mixed metals into my tree it's gonna look very stunning and so I definitely wanted to pick these up and I did get six of these ornaments and then I also did pick up this mercury glass looking ornaments also by Robert Stanley and it also has that same like ornament cap this one was also $8.99 and once again I think like just adding all this mixed colors the mixed metals it's just going to look very elegant and I feel like these are the perfect way to just add like a little bit of elegance to your Christmas decorating and I also got six of these so I was able to find the brown um, velvet ribbon in my Christmas section I just overlooked it previously so I did also pick up this brown velvet ribbon from Hobby Lobby's Christmas section this was $5.99 before the 50% off and then lastly from Hobby Lobby I did pick up these beautiful like wicker wall baskets and I am picturing these on my living room wall like right up here and what I'm planning to do is add a large photo in the middle that I picked up from a flea market a few years ago and then have two of these on either side and have some greenery just hanging out and just I think it's going to be so beautiful these were $44.99 before the 50% off because I did get them and they were on sale and so for two of these I ended up paying 48 bucks which I feel like is really good because regular price I would have paid like over $90. I know Antique Farmhouse has some on their website and those are beautiful as well. The set of two is $98 I believe and that's just a little bit more than I would want to spend right now and so I'm happy I was able to find these. I do know Hobby Lobby has another wall basket that I've seen and that one has more of like a gray cool tone. That one is definitely like way cheaper. I think it's like maybe 14 bucks. I didn't see it at my Hobby Lobby but I have seen it on their website and so if you are wanting the hanging wall baskets but wanting a cheaper option Hobby Lobby does have that. So moving on to home goods I did get two items from there and my home goods is just not very organized so this first item I picked up when they first started putting out their Christmas decor then I went back like a week or two later and picked up this other item. I went back earlier this week and it's just chaotic like there's stuff everywhere it's really hard to really just see everything because there's things just all over the place it's just not organized but the first item I picked up is this beautiful terracotta tree and I picked this up because I loved the texture on it I thought it was a great size this tree is only $12.99 and I picked it up before I knew it was a pottery barn dupe so I'm glad I got it when I did because I've went back to home goods twice now and I have not seen this again and then I also picked up this red sitting ornament and this does light up this is only $12.99 and I just thought this would be so beautiful on top of a coffee table book the ornament cap is silver so I am planning to DIY it and change it up a little bit and also change like the little ribbon right here but I just think this is perfect and just what I was really wanting and so I know home goods has like the bigger sitting ornaments that are like the crackle glass and they're clear and so I saw those and I was like okay I like this but I don't want it clear and I don't want it that big so I kept looking and I came across that red sitting ornament and I was like immediately yes it's that beautiful deep red that I'm wanting to go for this year and it's perfect I love it <laughs> so I did purchase two items from Michaels and the first item I purchased is this brass tree it really reminds me of like those wooden trees that are very popular and um kind of viral this year except it's brass this was $19.99 before the 40% off and I just saw this and I thought it was so cute and then I also picked up these beautiful flocked red ornaments and I will take one out and show you guys so this is what the ornament looks like it's definitely like those flocked ornaments that Hobby Lobby has these are glass though I will say and I am going to DIY the ornament cap and use the rub and buff and black paint just to 
give it a more like antique aged look and make it look a little bit more sophisticated and elegant but this pack of ornaments was $9.99 before the 40% off and I did only get one pack so moving on to Target my Target just barely dropped their hearth and hand line in store this week and so i did go around and look i did not purchase anything but i did go and check it out and once again like my target was just very unorganized there was just stuff thrown everywhere and i hate that for me so i did pick up two of these cypress trees and they do come in this brass pot and then this is what the tree looks like and so I kind of bought these by mistake and let me tell you why. So I wanted the Christmas trees that came in the white pot. Those are the spruce trees. And so those were sold out online and I saw that the cypress trees in the gold pot were still available. And so I hurried up and ordered them, not real realizing it was two different trees. And so this one I am going to keep because I did accidentally drop it and break it. And then um, the other one I got, which is the 20, 22 inch one, I am going to take back and hopefully get the spruce tree in the white planner because I just think that one is a little bit more realistic and prettier in my opinion. And what I'm planning to do with this one since I broke the pot is I probably will cut out the tree and add it to a little vase because I did pick up a vase specifically for these trees but the pot was too big to fit into the vase. So I think if I cut this, the tree out, it'll fit perfectly and just be what I wanted it to be. This one is $14.99 and then the 22 inch one was $19.99. Also from Hearth and Hands, I was able to get the beautiful viral cedar stems from them. And I did pick up six of these stamps while I ordered them online. And these are $4.99 each. And so one night I was up and like around midnight, I got notifications that they were back in stock. So I hurried up and ordered them. But I just think these are so beautiful, so realistic. And I'm so very happy I was able to purchase them. I did get these in the smaller size and I think that's 26 inches if I'm not mistaken. And so, I might go back and try to find the larger ones, but if not, I am happy that I at least have these this year. I only picked up one item from Studio McGee and that was just kind of like by chance that I picked it up. I was just browsing around and came across this beautiful ceramic tree. This tree is very heavy. I love that it has all of the different like um, grooves in it just to add some dimension. This tree was $20, they have the medium one for $15 and the small one for $10 and I think $20 is not bad for this tree because it's very heavy and I think the quality is good to spend $20 on it. Lastly from Target, I picked up two houses from the Wonder Shop line. It's these brown like wooden houses and these were $5 each. They do come with a tea light already included in them and I just think these would be perfect on my shelves in my kitchen, especially at night when you know all the lights are off and you have these um, houses that are just glowing and tweaking. I think it's just gonna add like that magical feel and it's just, they're beautiful. I do wish they came in like different sizes. So like maybe one that's a little bit wider and shorter maybe just to add a little bit of variation but i am so very happy with these purchases i love these houses a lot more than i liked the mercury glass houses so i did end up picking up the beautiful christmas pillow cover from h m and i am in love with this pillow cover i think h m did such a great job in designing this pillow cover i feel like this looks so high end and in reality it costs like nine dollars but i got it on sale for like six dollars and fifty cents so i'm very happy i picked this up I did pick up this reindeer from Pottery Barn. This is the small size one and this one was $20 I believe. I wanted to get the medium one but when I purchased this like at the end of September the medium one was already on back order and wasn't going to be here until like literally a few days before Christmas and so I just felt like there wasn't any point of buying it this year because it defeats the purpose if it arrives later after like after I'm done decorating. But I might plan to buy the medium one next year especially if my walmart doesn't carry them again next year because they did it this year which we'll get into that in just a little bit so i did pick up a few items from walmart again 
And so the first thing I picked up is this tree topper that lights up and it is like 3D. And so I really wanted to get a tree topper because I haven't had one since I've had my own Christmas tree. And that's because my Christmas tree is flocked and it comes with pine cones on it already. And for some reason, the designers put a pine cone right where the Christmas tree topper would go. And so like the first year I did buy a Christmas tree topper, but it would not stay on because of that pine cone. So this year I've decided that I'm just going to cut that pine cone off and have me a Christmas tree topper. I also picked up these cedar picks and these were like a dollar each. And the reason I picked them up is because I was considering adding them to my wreath that I picked up just in case it wasn't as full as I wanted it to be. To be completely honest, I have not really just fluffed up the wreath and taken the time to fluff it up. So I don't know if I'm even going to need these for the wreath, but if not, I am planning to add these to my garland. So speaking of garland, I did pick up three different garlands from Walmart. And the first garland I picked up is this Nine Foot Sonoma Cypress Garland. And I think this garland is very similar to the garland that is viral from Walmart, except it does have like the traditional pine. And I feel like that's why it's a little bit cheaper than the other one. It also does not come with like that vine um, twig backing. So that may be another reason too. But I am planning to do like a drooping garland this year, a swooping garland. And I felt like this would be a good first layer and it was only $17 so once again a little bit cheaper than the viral one from Walmart but it still is very similar in my opinion like it still has the pine cones and everything so if you are wanting a garland but can't find the viral one or you don't want to spend as much I feel like this is a great alternative for that garland I did also pick up the viral garland from Walmart that's like that real fill um, a real touch garland this one does also have like the little pine cones but this one does come on like that vine um twig backing that i was mentioning previously so this garland is 27.88 in which i feel like it's still not a bad price for garland honestly because garland can be pretty expensive and i did get two of these garlands i am planning to use these with my mantle and i'm just very excited to have these and then i was able to pick up this pine cone ornament that is pretty popular um and i did diy the ornament cap to just give it that more like rustic vintage look and i think it came out so beautiful and i get, did get this diy idea from evelyn hernandez here on youtube my walmart did not carry a lot of the items that you are seeing all over that are pretty popular like they did not have the reindeer dupes they didn't have the pine cone ornaments they didn't have the pine cone candle holders and they don't have the my texas house collection like at all the only items they have from that my texas house collection are the christmas trees which i did show in my previous video and so I was pretty disappointed that my Walmart did not have those items. So I did pick up two items from World's Market and those are the beautiful Pottery Barn Duke candles. So I got the small and medium size. The small was 15 and I believe the medium was 20 and they just look very like rustic and vintage looking. And I just realized the other day that they have two different scents. And so the small one has the scent white pine and birch. So it's gonna give you like that Christmas tree smell, but it also has like fruit smells mixed in to where it's not overpowering. The medium candle is scented like orange spice. So it smells like oranges, but you can also smell like the cloves, the cinnamon. And once again, I think it smells pretty good. It's not overpowering also, and I like that they do have different scents just in case maybe you didn't like the smell of the first one or the small one, you could pick up this one because you like the scent more. So I know these candles have come out online now, but I think they are sold out. I'm still going to link them so that way you can just be checking back in on the link to see if they happen to restock them. And I think my best advice would just to be do, to do that is to just keep checking to see if they're restocked. But that's going to conclude today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I was able to show you guys some things that you like that hopefully you can go out and purchase. 
once again be sure to like and subscribe and i will see y'all very soon for christmas decorating